Shalom. Welcome back. First and foremost, I want to go give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to you, Akim, that's pushing this word, sincerity, and truth. Back with another video. And today I'm just going to play a little bit from this uh, Mark Dice uh, video. It says, Woke Californians want to ban the Bible for hate speech. Right? And he does a lot of videos in a joking matter. But it really just shows you <clears throat> when he goes out here with his petitions and presents this point of view, how many people uh, agree with that. All right. Because we've been saying for the longest that uh, if it was through the spirit and up to the uh, Esau Edom, he would ban this book, man. But hey, that might still be coming <laughs> because this Bible and what it teaches is uh, completely contrary to Esau Edom's way of life. And the way he has his society set up, all right? And these people are going to become more and more uh, on the uh, opposite end of the spectrum as far as tolerating anybody that doesn't go along with the society. And that bullseye is going to be, uh, first and foremost, uh, on us, the Israelites, man, all right? The key group going against uh, what this uh, society uh, teaches and pushes, all right? So let's just jump into it. Gonna go. Will Americans sign a petition to ban the Bible? Let's find out. Will you help us to ban the Bible? To ban the Bible? Yeah. We're just trying to get rid of this hate speech just to help the New World Order, but why Amazon why? is still selling it to a lot of people, and we're just trying to get them to stop that. Why so. would I want to ban the Bible? Well, you know, it makes a lot of people feel uncomfortable. Uh, uh, it's hurting a lot of people's feelings. Yeah. Just print here and <laughs> yeah, print, birthday, and his signature. You know, the Bible hurts a lot of people. And this just shows you how docile these people are, man. Ready, they ready for their mark, man. I don't know really what the elites are waiting for, man. Because these people are, are ready to receive anything that somebody that speaks in a certain tone, right, <clears throat> or an official, uh, uh, gives out to them. The edict. All right, take this. This is a new way we're going to uh, pay with things. And guess what? Uh, a portion of society is just going to uh, fall in line. Right? Let's keep going. Feelings. And it makes a lot of people feel uncomfortable. And if we can get rid of it, you know, that'll really help with the new world order. A lot of people want to burn the existing ones, but maybe we can do that later. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Amazon has finally stopped selling a lot of racist and anti-Semitic books by people like former KKK leader David Duke. They were selling his autobiography for years. They finally stopped selling it, but they're still selling the Bible, so we're just trying okay. to... So I'm just signing to not have the Bible be sold on Amazon? Yeah. Okay, that sounds like a good thing for humanity. You know... <laughs> that sounds like a good thing for humanity, man. These people are something else. Alright, let's just jump into the scriptures. Uh, the first scripture I'm going to get is going to be in the book of Mark, chapter 13 and 10. It says, and the gospel must first be published among all nations. All right. Now, this true gospel uh, is being published among all nations right now. What you had first was a hijacking of the understanding of this book, which is mainstream plantation Christianity. All right. That's what's going on right now. Mainstream uh, plantation Christianity, which was coined by uh, Apostle Tahar. That's what you simple ass Israelites uh, ascribe to, man. But the real teaching of this Bible, which has been going out uh, starting back around the 70s, all right, going to a place called One West, uh, that's when the end has really officially started coming, all right? These prophecies start popping off. This is. Uh, verse 11 but when they shall lead you and deliver you up take no thought beforehand what you shall speak neither do ye premeditate but whatsoever shall be given you in that hour uh, that speak ye for it is not you that speak but the Holy Spirit now brothers shall betray uh, the brother to death and the father the son and the children shall rise up against their parents and shall cause them to be put to death and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Right. So when we read these types of scriptures, these end time prophecy scriptures, just know that uh, by believing and having faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and holding dear the words of these scriptures, guess what? That target is on our backs, man. 
All right, because it's contrary to the evil, wicked ways of this world. You see, and like I said, that's why I want to show a couple clips from this video to see the mindset of the masses, man. Hey, these masses <laughs> don't want to hear nothing about order. They don't want to hear nothing about uh, a woman's position. They don't want to hear nothing about uh, the alphabet gang being in the wrong. You see, it's all about a hey, do whatever we feel like, right, in this demonic society. Uh, let's keep going. Let's grab this right here. This is John chapter 15, verse 18. He says, if the world hate you, know that it hated me before it hated you. And then hate is going to build more and more and more. Pursuant to the book of Second Ezra, it tells you, I believe it's the 15th or 16th chapter, that you will know who his chosen is by the persecution that they will suffer. All right. Verse 19, if we were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, right? But I have chosen you out of the world. Therefore, the world hateth you. Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they shall also persecute you. If they have kept my sayings, they will also keep yours. Right. So done with the persecution. That's exactly what's uh Happens to the prophets back then, and that's what, that's what's happening, and will happen to the prophets now. So let's go back. You know, if somebody already purchased one, you know, I mean, at least at this point, we're not going to confiscate them. Maybe in the well, yeah. future, but we just don't want anybody else to be purchasing their right. copies. Good luck. Thank you. Have a good one. When you say hate speech, I want to make sure we're on the same page. Yeah. Well, the Bible has a lot of homophobia in there, and, uh, you know, it, it says that the Jews conspired to have Jesus killed. It's an anti-Semitic <laughs> trope, so we're just trying to get the Bible banned to help stop the hate speech. And I'm with, on board with you there. On board with us there. You know, I mean, for the people who... And they, and they truly are going to hate this word more and more, especially the heathen, as they really, when it really sets in that uh, we are the true Israelites. You see Vocab Malone losing his fucking mind, man. All right. Doing conferences. Simple as Jake in the crowd <laughs> asking about how they can uh, combat the Israelites. Man, it's, it's it's insane times that we're living in. All right. Absolutely insane times we are living in. And no other time since I've been in this truth uh, have has I have I seen this. All right. These people are getting ready to roll on all levels, man. From the minions of vocab. uh to these everyday average uh, Edomites, to these average day everyday uh, Jakes, man, who want the society to continue, who want uh, to fall into this beast, this market of beast society that's coming, they want to be a part of this. And the Bible is contrary to that. And when we point it out and bring it out the correct way, guess what? We're going to be those bad guys. I've already bought one. I mean, at least at this point, we're not going to be confiscating them, maybe in the future, but we're just trying to get the new purchases stopped yeah. and just ban it from all the stores. Thank you so much. You. Well, stay tuned, because there's more video to come, but real quick, subscribe. So let's, let's uh, jump back to the scriptures while you're doing that. Uh, let's go into the book of Amos 5 and 10. It says, they hate him that rebuketh in the gate, and they abhor him that speaketh uprightly. So you you heard what the dude Dice said, man, about the hate speech, the alphabet gang, uh, anti Semitic, Semitic as they say it, uh, all that, and <clears throat> those people signs though. Oh, oh yeah, we have to stop all that. You have to stop all that. All right, meaning they gotta stop what's in this Bible and this word. Okay, they don't want no parts of it, man. You see, so. When you believe in this word, and most importantly, you believe in Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, which is the word, uh, get ready for the persecution and get ready for the world to be against you, which the brothers that have been in this truth for a lot, uh, some period of time, guess what? Their families and lost children and lost wives, all because of the word sake, man. So we are ahead of that curve. For you newer people coming in, hey, get ready for that suffering, bearing that cross, as it, as it, as it is said, right? Uh, let's see what else I got, because I don't want to make this too long. This is 1 John 5 and 19. We'll end it here. It says, and we know that we are of the most high and the whole world lieth in wickedness. Right? The word of God exposes the world, man. All right? It cuts through the bullshit. As it says in Hebrews, it lets you know the intents of the hearts, of the minds. All right? It, low, it lets you know where a, your mind really lies, your heart really lies. And most people 
It lies in this bullshit, this garbage, man. All right, the wickedness of this world. Verse 20, and we know that the sons of the Most High has come and have given us an understanding. Right, the Son of the Most High has come and given us an understanding that we may know him that is true and we are in him that is true. Even in the Son of Yahweh Shai, right? This is the true power and eternal life, right? That understanding, right? So let's Subscribe see. to the channel if you're new here and check back on a regular basis. We're just pranking you, by the way. The Bible is the most sold book, so if we can get Amazon to stop selling that, we can we can help stop the hate speech. We're gonna leave the Quran up there, though. We don't want to be Islamophobic, though. We help us to ban the Bible. We're trying to stop hate speech, but they're still I'm selling. You don't have to be registered at all. This is just a. Uh, this is just to send to Jeff Bezos to Amazon to get him to stop selling the Bible. There's a lot of, a lot of, yeah. Sure, sure. Just print birth. <laughs> like I said, this really just shows the docile dumbness of people. Of course, anybody on the planet have heard of the Bible, all right? And they say, ban the Bible, and they don't think anything of it, all right? Like I said, it, it lets you know uh, the true nature and character of most people walking around this society, man. All right? Total uh, uh, lawlessness. All right. No type of standard. That's why censorship and the and uh, the uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Famine of the word is coming on a major level. So be prepared for that also. But that's the point. I want to give all glory, praises and honesty. How about you? Shy? Shalom the next time.